students how are you i hope you're fine today we're gonna talk about powers and exponents so let's start when i talk about exponent tells you how much how many times of a number called the base is used as a factor so if i have here a number like 2 power 3 or i can say 2 to the power 3 so this power is called exponent and this is the base this means that I have here 2 is repeated how many times? 3 times as we know. So I have here a very important note. Remember that if I say 5 to the power 0, 5 to the power 0, this means what? 5 to the power 0, it means here it's here just 1. Remember that. Um, I have here the number, any number. To the power 0 any number to the power 0 gives me what gives me 1 the number 12 345 is a standard form we see that this number 12345 it's in the standard form you can use exponents to express the number in expanded form or not yes we can so we can say that it's here uh, the first number it's here one okay we said that it's twelve thousand so um beside this one i have how many digits one two three and four right so i have here i can say it's the place value of one is called ten thousand what about ten thousand how can we write it like this right so and instead of this i will write it's ten to the power what to the power four easy one I think it is what about two two here it's multiplied by how many so I can say it's twelve thousand two it means two thousand it means that two times one thousand we have three zeros so it's two times ten to the power three and if I talk about here the digit three it's three hundred so it's three times ten to which power guys to power two and what about here 4 it's 4 times what just 10 because we say 45 it means 40 the place value right and what about 5 it's just alone so I will say it's 5 times 10 to the power what to the power 0 so 10 to the power 0 which gives me the real one powers need to be included in the rules for order of operation remember PEMDAS so when I have order of operation remember I start with the p parenthesis exponent this is the exponent which i talk about this is the example so do all operations within grouping like what what does it mean grouping parenthesis or brackets I start with the innermost grouping samples evaluate then the powers so because we are having pemdas I will write this and we took this last uh, quarter brackets we have exponents multiply division brother and sister remember what comes first I will solve it first addition subtraction the same idea what comes first I will solve it first do all multiplication and division in order from left to right do all additions and subtraction from left to right okay guys let's have here um, an example 5 times 10 power 3 plus 2 times 10 squared uh, plus 7 times 10 here uh, to the power 1 and then 3 times 10 to the power 0 in standard form what do you want me to to do write it in standard form of course i will 5 okay 10 power 3 it means 5000 it means what well, guys 5000 what about here a 2 times 10 squared it means here what it means 200 because here 2 we have 10 times 10 plus what plus 7 times 10 power 1 it means what it means 70 then i have here 3 because 10 power 0 equal 1 so i can write it easily it's very easy miss as it is okay what about this one write this in in expanded form so i will multiply it here the first one i will multiply it here we will see i have here um, 139,567 so beside one I have how many digits it's here 100,000 so I have five digits so it's multiplied 10 to the power 5 then 3 how many digits beside it 4 of course so 
times 10 to the power 4 and then and so on 9 multiply what multiply 10 to the power what guys it has here 3 so it's 3 then I have here 5 times what times uh, 10 to the power 2 then 6 times uh, 10 to the power 1 then 7 times 10 to the power 0 and so on um, write each multiplication expression as uh, using exponents so guys this is very easy I know but we have to revise this together because we are gonna use it um, in other um, in upcoming uh, lessons I have here a is repeated how many times one two three four and five so it's a to the power five and here a to the power four and I have here and so on negative twelve to the power three because it's repeated three times okay um okay let's have um uh okay i want to show you something we have the negative uh i will show you the negative power uh after a while also how to use the negative power okay i hope you understood this let's have this one okay let's have this one before finishing Okay, so I'm having here um, this one, write, write each power as multiplicative expression. We said this one, it's here 14, multiplies 14, multiplies 14, repeated three times and so on. What about write each number in expanded form as we solve this here, expanded form, this one, the same idea. What about here, um, this question, write each number in expanded form. Okay, this question, use the formula A area equal um, a side squared to find here how many square feet of a carpet needed to cover rectangular floor measuring 12 feet by 12 feet. This means that the area of the square gives me what side squared. This means that we have the side is 12. So 12 squared means 12 multiply 12, which gives me what? Which gives me 144. I have here evaluate I'm using here um, m uh, cubic m I have here cubic m minus uh, squared n squared so I have here instead of m we will write 3 given value here minus n which is um, uh, what which here gives me negative 5 put it in a bracket because we have here two negatives and then power what to the power 2 okay so I have here 3 cubic, it means that 3 times 3 times 3 give me 27 minus squared of um, negative 5 squared it means 5 times 5 or negative 5 times negative 5 positive 25 equals what 27 minus 25 gives me here the 2. I hope you understood thing, thing, this. If you have any question, please send me on the SCL or ask me at school. Thank you. Bye bye.